Getting ready to ride my motorcycle over the canyon, and I was putting on my helmet when I suddenly realized that I was sleepwalking, and I don't actually have a motorcycle, and I was actually wearing a beehive on my head. Ha! You always have the weirdest stories, giraffe. I still have a bee in my ear. And what about you, baby cow? I saw a plant. Uh oh. And I drank some water. Ah. Uh. I saw a badger. Really? Oh yeah! It was climbing an acacia tree, and I love acacias. So I was just woofing down the leaves. Anyway, I was halfway through eating when it lit. Baby cow realized that she wasn't very good at telling stories, so she went to ask for advice from her mother. Mama, how do you tell good stories? Well, if I want to hear a good story, I always go off to my friend Petunia. I mean, I'm not one to gossip, but you should hear all the things that Gertrude. Oh, you know my friend Gertrude. She Baby Cow didn't know any of the, of the people village. Mama Cow was she talking was about, about, so she crazy. didn't find her story very interesting. She almost gave up hope that she'd ever learn how to tell a good story when she heard a sound from the bushes. Rabbit. I heard you want to tell a good story. I do. Why are you hiding and whispering? Because it's a secret. I won't tell just anyone the secret of the world's greatest stories. Kings and queens come from all over the world to hear my amazing stories. They come from the North Pole and the jungle and the sea and the desert. They do. No, that's just one of my many great stories. That's how you make an interesting story with interesting words like jungle and explosion and unicorn. Try telling me one. Um. Okay. I was standing in the field. No, no, no. Be more exciting. You shouldn't just be standing. You should be flying through the air like a fighter jet. Wow. But I can't fly. Then maybe this story shouldn't be about you. Maybe it should be about a flying cow. So what did this magical flying cow do? Uh, she flew to the city. Yeah. And she had a big party. Yeah. And she arrested all the baddies with her rainbow vision. Yeah. And she ate some grass. No. And she went sailing on a pirate ship. With lasers, yeah. So baby cow told her new exciting story to her friends, and then she waved her magic hoof and turned all the lions into cupcakes. Whoa! Magical Wonder Cow is amazing. Can I meet Magical Wonder Cow, please? I don't think so, giraffe. Magical Wonder Cow is make believe, isn't she, baby cow? No, magical wonder cow is real. Come on, baby cow, let's get her. Oh, okay. Why did you say that magical wonder cow was real, rabbit? Because that's so much more awesome. Imagine meeting a real wonder cow. It'll be really exciting. It's brilliant. I'll get you a costume. Me? That's right. Or would you rather be boring? <gasps> no. Then stay right here. Here she is, the magical wonder cow. Wow! It's magical wonder cow, Lorato. It's magical wonder cow. I'm here to uh have a party. She's smaller than I thought. And I can shoot rainbow rays from my eyes. And I can fly and uh, uh, and dance. And Ooh. Uh... baby cow, there's nothing to see here. Everyone looks somewhere else.
mouth. I'm sorry, Lorato. There isn't really a magical wonder cow. There isn't? I know, baby cow. But why were you doing all this? Because our stories need flying and magic and explosions. You don't need all that to tell a good story. Just tell us what happened and think about what makes it interesting. Like, try telling me what happened yesterday. OK. Um, I saw a plant. What kind of plant? A flower. What kind of flower? It was a flame lily. It was bright red and really beautiful. It looked like six red flames. There you go. That's much more interesting. You see, you can tell interesting stories. What's going on here? Baby, why are you wearing that cape? Uh. Don't be shy. It's an interesting story, isn't it? Um, okay. I was with Lorato and Giraffe and Puppy and we were on the bridge. And that's how Baby Cow learned that if you want to tell an interesting story, you just have to tell it well.